Okay, so welcome to another Prime Icon review. In this one, we have the 91 rated Prime Icon, Fernando Torres. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now, I reviewed this guy's base icon, um, I think it was last month in November, and I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very good card. There were a couple of things that were limited about it, but ultimately, it was a very fun item, and it was a great finisher. So I do have pretty high expectations for this prime variant of him. It's recently just come into the game, and it cost me 2.6 million coins, so uh, hopefully he's going to give us a really positive goal return for that price um yeah looks a nice card it really really does i'm also looking forward to trying out his prime moments which uh, obviously will be available later in fifa anyway let's have a look at this card four star four star nice to see on a forward as is the high medium wear crates does stand at six foot one finesse shot trait and outside the foot shot traits are there and there uh, so are some really nice in-game attributes pace looks very solid very high acceleration of 95 shooting looks brilliant 95 finishing 94 attack finishing 87 shot power and a couple of those are maxed out by the fact that we're going to be using a finisher chem style dribbling also looks really really solid and um, nice agility of 88 good reactions of 95 and a very good in-game dribbling rating of 89 which will be actually boosted to 99 in-game thanks to this chem style as well he's also got 90 composure which will definitely help him out in front of goal when it comes to passing although his passing doesn't look anything too special h3 shot passing is definitely good enough the long passing though isn't obviously ideal but we we'll probably won't be doing too many through balls with him anyway so the shot passing is definitely most important there and then finally physically good stamina of 86 okay strength of 78 and a pretty good jumping of 85 so the fact that he's six foot one and has 85 jumping means he should aerially be actually quite good so uh hopefully we'll find out in game so uh before we continue if you could leave like rating on the video that'd be very much appreciated and also in the comments let me know your thoughts on this item also let me know which other icons you want to see me do a video on but for now it's time to get into the games and uh, see what Torres can offer. For Torres's debut, we are up against an Icon Gerard, which is, you know, kind of fitting. He's also got Mbappe and Flashback Aguero, so uh, his attack is pretty stacked. It's a chance. Torres in a bit of space. Finesse shot, and look at that. Just pinged into the back of the net. Keeper didn't even move then. Nice start. Cata puts it through. Torres now one-on-one -on -one with Diego Carlos. Beats him with a spin. Oh... That's unfortunate. I feel like that shot was definitely heading into the back of the net. This is okay. In behind to Torres, who's up against Diego Carlos here. Doesn't quite have the strength, but he's got lucky with a bounce. Can he get the shot away? Oh, what a tackle that is from Kunde. Torres, open space. What are we going to do? We're just going to go with the finesse. And we're going to tuck it into the back of the net. Just like that, it is 2-0. Two good chances. Two very solid goals. Chance to break now. The Cata gets the ball into the feet of Torres. He's got a bit of work to do because Diego Carlos is in pursuit. And so is Kunde. But Torres has done well to beat his man, chips the keeper, and just like that is a hat-trick inside 30 FIFA minutes. Brilliant start. Chance. Lucas hooks it into the box. Torres! Oh, should have been four there. And almost is on the rebound. And after that, my opponent has decided to quit. So uh, a very quick fire hat-trick for Torres on debut. Ideal start. And uh, yeah, nice opening display. That's pretty much all there is to say. Let's get into game two. Game number two, and we are once again up against a flashback Aguero, and we're also up against Joe Gomez, so uh, yeah, th this is the test. This is what you want to come up against in reviews. You want to come up against Joe Gomez and Varane, because that's all you ever come up against is champs now. Kata flicks it through. Here is Torres. Tight angle. We'll take off the shot. Forces a good save out of Leno, and then Mane on the rebound. Puts the ball into the back of the net. Bellerin plays the ball in behind to Torres, who's making a nice wide run. Takes on Van Dyke, but there isn't many options in the box. Pulls it back to Nakata, and Nakata, ah, oh, unfortunately puts it wide. Good play by Fernando. Okay, well, it's 1-1 at the break. Um, I feel like my opponents probably had, you know, the better of the first half, but uh, hopefully in the second 45 we can come on strong. As you can see, possession right now is just very one-sided, and we've had to do a lot of defending. Nakata flicks it through. Torres, can he get a stab on it? He can, but that's a great save from Leno. Here's a chance. Nice break here. Can Torres get round Joe Gomez? Oh, it's a good side and challenge, but Torres will retain possession. Holds off Tellez. Can we get on the inside now? We can. Oh, we've just, just been outmuscled there by Joe Gomez, who is just so OP in this game. Here's a chance. Nakata in behind. Torres has got a lucky bounce. And now he is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. 
I'm not falling for that fake again, and this time we finish. It's a fantastic finish too, composed into the corner, keeper given no chance, and hopefully that is now the game won. And it's been a very tight game too, so uh, we've needed to take these chances. Okato with a nice bit of play. Torres with a nice bit of footwork, and that's a nice finish as well, with the weaker foot. And if the game wasn't already over, it definitely is now. That's a good bit of play, that's a good bit of play, and that's a nice finish. Very, very nice finish from Torres, and that was... To be fair, it was put on a plate for him by Mane, who put that ball across the box perfectly. This game is all but wrapped up now. It's been one of them games that was so tight at first, but as soon as we got, you know, the lead, it just opened up with my opponent getting a bit more aggressive with his defending. And, uh, yeah, we've really taken advantage. And there is the full-time whistle. So it's a 5-1 victory, and it's another hat-trick for Fernando Torres. Now, the interesting thing is, his out put in that game was obviously very very good getting on the score sheet multiple times getting the hat trick but he also missed a couple of chances which I think he should have you know converted so uh, although I'm definitely not going to complain with the hat trick I do feel like he could have had more in at this match also um, run making wise I wish he'd stop running wide I think I'm going to put a play instruction on him uh, for the next game to stay central because he just keeps making wide runs for me which is quite annoying especially when the central run option is there we go again and this time we are up against a very very interesting side I'm presuming that right cam is going to get subbed off but the rest of the side is you know, pretty good. He's got that inform Xiao Felix, who I don't come up against often, but if he's anywhere near as good as the player of the month, Xiao Felix, uh, we're in for a tough game because that card is ridiculous. Torres early doors with a chance after dispossessing Jimenez. He's chipped the keeper as well, and it's a great finish. Under pressure, gets the dink over the keeper, and it's a perfect start in this match. Whoa, don't know what's happened there. What has happened? Look at Thomas Part, his hair. Look how he tells his hair and man is. The ball right now, eventually we do. And now we can counter. So now we can counter with Torres getting in behind. Godin isn't that quick, so hopefully we can take full advantage of that. We'll come on the inside. We'll get the shot away as well. And oh, what a save. What a stop from Muslera. I really feel like that should be going in, but what a stop from the Uruguayan. Torres linking up with Nakad. Oh, referee. I'm literally about to put a through ball through that's probably going to put Torres in. That's a bit of an annoying halftime whistle. But anyway, at the break, it's uh, all square at 1-1. Fairly even first half, as you can see. Once again, I am just not having much possession, but uh, we're still creating chances when we have the ball because, uh, yeah, I think I'm like one of the very few players in FIFA who just go out to attack now. I think so many people just like to, you know, hog the ball and wait for the perfect chance, but uh, I like to attack. I want to play FIFA for fun, not to just, you know, pass around the back. That's a good tackle. And that's put Torres in behind, and he is not going to miss from there. Nice finish. Really nice finish with the finesse there, to be fair. He's, like, lifted it over the keeper, not just around him, and uh, gave him no chance. Quick bit of link-up play here. Everyone get joining in. Torres makes it free. Nice strike across the goal. And now we've got a bit of a cushion in this game. Nice. Oh, great finish. That's a great finish. I love those kind of pullback finesses. And there is full time. It's a 4-1 victory and it's another match ball for Fernando Torres who once again um, shows his uh, finishing ability in games. So uh, yeah, the guy's scoring plenty of goals for me. He's been prolific so far. Right then, Torres' time in the team has now come to an end and it's time to review his overall performance. And you can tell by the rating graph, um, yeah, very good card. Very fun item to use as well. And uh, the guy scores goals and ultimately if you've got a striker that's worth a lot you wanting to do that so uh yeah shock expensive player in ultimate team is good at foot um so let's break things down shall we we'll begin with the shooting ability i think this guy's finishing and finesses are absolutely fantastic the only time his shots became you know not as good for me was when i was going for power shots and it wasn't necessarily down to the power it was down to the accuracy of the power shots but uh, his finesses are absolutely brilliant off left foot and right foot which is obviously very very nice so uh yeah the guy definitely scores goals which is great i liked his pace as well does feel pretty quick in game not you know ridiculously rapid but still very very quick and certainly can break away from a defender if given the opportunity to do so positionally that's another area where he's quite strong but not as good as some other players i would say and um, i like his run making quite a bit especially when he runs centrally but he likes to run wide occasionally, and that can be a bit annoying, to be honest. So if you're going to use this guy, uh, the steer central instruction might be ideal, because, uh, as I said, he does like to get onto the wings, which is a bit annoying, because I want him central, because I know what he can do when he gets into those good areas. And um, when it comes to passing, he's... 
He's all right. He's just certainly not as complete as some other top tier striker options. But um, his short passing is good enough. But um, obviously the three balls aren't too great with this item. But you could have just easily told that just by looking at the stats of this card. But uh, yeah, moving on to the dribbling now, which I think is actually quite good. Now, in the grand scheme of things, is his dribbling like brilliant? No. But for someone who's six foot one, I think his dribbling is to a very, very good standard. He felt good on the ball, and that is, you know, not something you can say too regularly for taller strikers. So I was happy with that. And um, one issue I actually didn't like, or one issue I had, sorry. Uh, with the base icon Torres was his first touch really let him down but uh, with this prime version of him honestly I didn't really have any issues which is uh, nice to see physically how we looking with Torres like the stamina held up for 90 minutes with ease and I also liked his ability to win headers as well that is uh, definitely another positive for this card so all in all a really really good striker option and uh, yeah the finishing ability on this card was just really really good with those finesse shots so if you do pick up this guy at some point definitely try those out because uh yeah, the guy scores goals. What a shock. A 91 rated striker can score goals in game. Anyway, I'm rambling, so let's wrap this video up. Um, if you could leave a like on it, that would be very much appreciated. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this Fernando Torres card. Also, let me know which other icons you'd like to see me do a video on. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.